Hey everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be working on a bunch of Etsy orders. I have three Etsy orders, but two of them are for um, some matching birthday t-shirts. So I'm just going to be working on a bunch of t-shirts today. I'm going to be using my Cricut Maker and my heat press and that's about it. I actually haven't had any baby blanket orders probably in this last week, I would say. Um, I don't know why I've been getting just a ton, a ton of t-shirt orders. I probably made about like 15 shirts the last few days and no baby blankets. So I'm just going to be working on a bunch of shirts. I don't know if Etsy is like promoting a lot of my t-shirt listings and not promoting my baby blankets. I don't know, but it's kind of nice to actually get a break from making baby blankets so I can just focus on making some t-shirts. So basically that's all I'm going to be doing tonight. I was supposed to go live tonight, but where I live there's actually a big storm happening and I didn't feel comfortable driving in the rain to go drop my boys off at my mom's house. So I'm going to be streaming or live streaming on Wednesday this week instead of Tuesdays. But anyways, I'm going to start rambling and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go, I'm going to show you the first t-shirt order that I'm going to be working on. It's just for, it's for a little onesie. Usually I sell this design as like a big sister and little sister matching set, but this person is doing a baby announcement. So they just wanted the big sister onesie. So for this order, I just have one little onesie that I have to make and then the rest are like matching family t-shirts. So let's just head over to my computer and let's check out what I'm going to be working on first. So here is the design that I'm going to be working on. I already have it edited. Um, this rainbow design has actually been one of my big popular ones and then the other shirts that I'm making tonight too um, are also a really popular seller for me. But let's just go ahead and send this to my Cricut and let's get started. Okay, so what's nice about this little onesie is hopefully I can use some of my scrap pieces. I keep all my scrap pieces because sometimes you just have those designs that only need tiny little pieces of vinyl. And because this is for a onesie, I really don't need a lot of big pieces. So let's see what I have. Let's see if this one's big enough. So that one's all set. Um, okay. And I'm hoping that I can just get away with using these pieces for the rainbow. So I try and like conserve as much as I can. So anytime I have any leftover vinyl, I just save it. Because you never know when you'll just have that odd little project that just needs a little tiny piece. So having my machine cut out the black uh, letters first, and then it's going to cut out the little rainbow. I know I've had some people ask about how to layer vinyl. Um, I can show you guys how I do it. With this one, you really don't have to layer it, but you do have to put down each piece differently. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys how I do that in this video. Um, let's get my heat press heated or warmed up. I have it set to 305 and I usually heat press my shirts for 15 to 20 seconds, but because there's multiple I guess layers, I don't want to call them layers because they're not layered on top of each other, but because there's multiple pieces, I don't heat press each little piece for 15 seconds. I only do it for like two to three seconds, just long enough for the vinyl to stick to the shirt or the onesie. Um, so I'll definitely, I'll definitely show you guys how I do it in just a second once all the pieces are all cut out. I've actually been having a ton of issues with Cricut Design Space acting really slow. Down in the comments, let me know, has Cricut Design Space given you guys any trouble lately because it's been acting super, super slow. Anytime I open up a design, it takes forever to load it. So I don't know if I need to re-download it or update my program or what, or if that's just how Cricut Design Space is right now. I also mentioned in my last video that I've been using the technique of weeding the vinyl on my heat press, uh, my heat press is matte, and the vinyl just pulls right up, uh, but sometimes if you do it too fast, um, you might peel up some of like the letters and stuff, so I'm going to try and do it really gently because last time I accidentally peeled up 
a letter. I didn't realize until I was trying to put the design on the shirt. I know that a lot of you guys prefer a lot of embroidery um, vlogs, but unfortunately I just don't have any baby blanket orders. Um, which is kind of nice. I was kind of getting not burnt out of making baby blankets, but I've been making the same design like over and over again and it's it's not as fun. I want to be able to create some other different designs, so um, in my next few videos I'm going to be working on a bunch of new embroidery designs. My husband, he actually digitized um, a new, actually my husband has digitized a bunch of different designs. Um, for me and we're going to be selling them as well. We're also doing a monthly, um, like an email list. If you sign up for my email list, um, once a month we'll send out a free embroidery design that my husband digitized. So my husband's been doing a lot of digitizing for me because I have so many like different ideas that I want to do for baby blankets and to help save me money on buying other people's designs, he's actually creating our own and they're actually coming out really, really cute. So I've actually increased my processing time on all my shirts just to make sure that I have, you know, the shirts that I need in stock. But these shirts I should be able to get out a little sooner than what they're expecting. Um, I just like to make sure that I'm giving myself enough time. Since I've been so busy this last month, um, I increased my processing time to, it was like two to three days for shirts, but I switched it to five to seven days because I usually order my shirts from Jiffy Shirts, but um, they haven't been as fast with their delivery times because of like COVID and the holidays and stuff. So, um, I definitely want to make sure I'm giving myself plenty, plenty of time. I'm just going to go ahead and heat up my mat so when I start peeling the vinyl off, it comes right off. We actually have a big storm tonight and I don't think the camera can pick it up, but it's like really windy out there or it's really windy outside. So I'm hoping the power doesn't go off. So I want to get those designs done and over with so I don't have to worry about if the electricity goes out trying to get these designs done. Oh my gosh, guys, it sounds so spooky outside. I really hope my electricity does not go out. Um, Cause that won't be good. This last year there was a big storm and our electricity went out for like almost a whole day. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen because I need to get these orders out and if electricity goes out, that means Wi-Fi goes out. So it's gonna make it kind of hard to print shipping labels and to use my tools to be able to, you know, finish up these orders. Okay, so that's all done cutting out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my other designs ready to go. Then I'll start heat pressing this onesie. Okay, so Target Design Space is giving me trouble right now. It's not loading my design. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start this one Z because I restarted my computer. So with every, so anything that I use HTV with, I always heat press it for a few seconds because surprisingly there's actually a lot of moisture, um, in shirts and in onesies. So you want to make sure you get all that moisture out because if you don't, the vinyl won't stick as well. Okay, so with this design, it has like multiple different layers. Um, and one way to like test out and see how everything looks and fits, you kind of just can layer it on top of each other like that. I'll do that sometimes when trying to see um, how the design looks, but because I know this design so well, I don't really need to do that. Um, so my first piece that I'm gonna put down is this top part of the rainbow. And because this is a onesie, I'm gonna put it kind of closer to the neckline a little bit. And then I have this line down the middle to help make sure that I'm lining up my design nice and straight. And if you hear a lot of funny noises in the background, that's just because it's my kids. Um, I wanted to get these orders done because the storm is supposed to hit later tonight. So I wanna make sure that I get these done before like the bad part of it happens. Before, before the bad part of the storm hits. So I just heat, heat pressed this piece of vinyl just for like two, three seconds. Um, just enough so it would stick to the shirt. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that I have to do on the shirt. So 
I have quite a bit to layer. All right, there's that piece. And I heat press it again for another second. And if your vinyl for whatever reason doesn't stick, just heat press it again for another second. design is all done. Um, I will kind of press this bottom piece so it's not all wrinkly, just so it looks nice when the customer gets it. So these are the t-shirt designs I'm doing, but as you can see it's like I can't even move the design at all and this whole dad design right here, it's supposed to be the same size as mom, but for whatever reason it's like shrinking it down. I don't know why it's doing this to me and I need to edit the design because I need to switch out brother for sister um, and I need to switch out the name too so I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble does design space ever do this to you guys like I don't know like what to do even if I highlight it over here oh well, there it goes if I highlight it It'll work. Okay, so let's find mom. And look, I highlighted mom and there's like a box right over here. Mom's not even over there. It's right here. So I don't know what's going on and it's driving me nuts. And it's been doing this to me since yesterday and it's like I have all these freaking t-shirt orders that I need to work on and I can't even get them done because it's acting up like this. It's so, so freaking frustrating. Alright guys, so it's the next day. I ended up not being able to work last night because we had like this really big storm that um, was going on last night and I don't know if that was causing my internet to not really work and that was causing Cricut Design Space not to work. I don't know, but it's kind of working right now. It worked well enough for me to be able to edit one of the designs, but it kept freezing. But I'm going to go ahead and try and finish up these two orders that I have. Um, once I finish these two orders, I'll be all caught up with Etsy orders and then I'm officially going to be starting my 90 day like tr listing challenge. I want to try and upload one listing a day for 90 days straight. Um, I have two Etsy shops, so I'm going to kind of split up that work in between those two shops. But anyways, I'm getting off topic. I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting all this vinyl and finish, finish up these last two orders. So I just got another notification that somebody else downloaded our um, applique design that we just listed on my website. Uh, if you sign up for my email list, once a month we're going to be sending out a free applique design for you guys to download so you guys can use it and make stuff to sell in your shop. Um, so if you haven't already, make sure to go to my website and sign up for my email list because we're going to have another design launching next month as well. But I'm so freaking happy that so many people are downloading this design and I actually can't wait to see what you guys create with this design that my husband created. Um, I would love for you guys, if you haven't already, joined my Discord, but if you can go join my Discord and when you use our design, I would love, love, love to see how you made it your own. So make sure to go join my Discord too and share with me and my husband like how you put your little twist on our applique design. 
so this storm was actually really crazy last night. Our power went out multiple times last night and um, our fences in our backyard actually blew down. So on top of everything else that my husband and I have to do, my husband's gonna have to like go fix the fence and we're already like crunched on time. So I feel really bad that he's gonna have to deal with that because it's we already have so much stuff that we have to do. I also probably, I think I mentioned this earlier in this video, or I mentioned it yesterday when I was recording, but I've been getting so many like birthday shirt orders, it's kind of crazy because I don't think I've ever gotten this many different t-shirt orders in one like time frame. So I don't know if Etsy is just like promoting like a bunch of my shirts and then it switches and promotes a bunch of my baby blankets because I was super busy with baby blankets and now I have like zero baby blanket orders and they're all t-shirt orders. Definitely tonight once I'm done with these orders, um, I'm gonna be working on listings because one of my Etsy shops only has like 13, 14 listings and that's for my woodworking Etsy shop and it's not like super busy but we get at least one to two orders a week and um, I definitely wanna get consistent sales every single day on that so I'm gonna try and do a listing a day um, for that Etsy shop, maybe two listings a day. I also wanna be adding some new baby blankets to my Etsy shop and then I also wanna open up a third Etsy shop specifically for um, dogs, uh, dog accessories because I wanna move my dog bandanas over to a whole new Etsy where I can do dog leashes, dog collars, dog bandanas, um, and things like that. Um, I feel like I have way too many things on my Nita and Thread Etsy shop, so I definitely, definitely need to take some of those things out and just have my Nita and Thread Etsy shop specifically for, um, specifically for baby items. And I don't know if I should call my new Etsy shop just Nita and Thread 2 just so it, it's separate, or if I should come up with a whole entirely different name because it is specifically for dog items, so I don't know if I should try and create like a, or think of a like dog kind of name for my Etsy shop, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, should I just do like Need and Thread 2 and just have it for all dog accessories or should I come up with a whole new shop name that's kind of related to like dog and cats. Okay, so I'm done with this order's vinyl. Now I need to go back to my computer and edit some more shirt designs. Um, it's basically for the same thing. It's for um, my Truck Yeah Monster birthday shirts. Um, but this person um, wants them in lime green. Or not lime green, they want them in a neon green. And then I have to switch out the name as well on the t-shirt design. So I'm gonna head over back to my computer and hopefully my computer will cooperate with me and I can edit these designs. Okay, so my computer let me edit the designs, but now, I don't have the colors I need. Oh, I do. Perfect. See, like my whole storage system, so I use this tub to do like all my big rolls, and then I use the smaller tubs for my straps. But it just makes keeping track of what colors you have in stock really, really hard, so I definitely, I gotta come up with some type of organizational or I need to come up with a better system, I think. Oops. So this is the neon green that I'm using for the monster trucks. Um, for my traditional design, I use a uh, red vinyl for it, but this customer requested neon green, so, which is kind of nice because now I can offer a whole nother like design and add that as another listing. So I like when customers like to do modifications because that just gives me an opportunity to have another design to upload to Etsy. So I feel like I just ordered like a 12 foot roll of white vinyl, but I guess I've had that many t-shirt orders that require white. So I'm gonna have to make another order from uh, my craft source. Okay, so I'm just scrolling through Facebook and so I just found all these like SVG files to make wooden sign designs and I think I'm gonna get it guys. It's only $8. I like to get my design, a lot of designs too from design bundles. 
Um, I actually have a link down below um, for you guys to check out too. So if you guys want to go check out Design Bundles, they have so many cute SVG designs. Like they even have uh, SVG designs to make um, like these birth stats for like these little elephants and it's just for vinyl so um, I know you can do those with an embroidery machine but I know it can be tricky especially if you have a smaller embroidery machine so that's another option is you could use vinyl instead and I actually kind of almost want to try oops I almost kind of want to try and find um, like these little elephants and like different animals that have like the big ears to do like birth stats and names on them um, they even have Valentine's ones. Like, I should have, I should have been on top of like all my holiday stuff. Um, but next year, ooh, look at this one. That would be a cute design to add to my Etsy shop. Guys, I might, I might just have to go on a little design bundle shopping spree. It's not really like a, an expensive shopping spree because you can get a bundle that has a ton of, ton of designs for like five, ten bucks. So, you don't really spend a lot. So last night, because I couldn't use Cricut Design Space, I actually ended up cleaning up my craft room. Definitely nowhere where I want it to be, but it looks so much better in there. Um, how about we go check it out right now? Okay, so it's still a mess, but you should have seen what this whole shelf looked like. It was just fabric thrown everywhere. But I organized all my bolts of fabric. Um, I have like some extra shirts and sweatshirts up there. I have all my flannel fabric that I need to make baby blankets with. All, these are all like all my new designs that I just haven't gotten to making. Um, I have some minky over there. I have this whole pile of minky and fabric that I have to go through and reorganize. Um, and then I have this sh shelf that I still kind of need to organize. I just, I have so much fabric. And the fabric that I buy, it doesn't come in bolts. So it makes it quite difficult to organize it. But once I sell out all of, once I sell out of this fabric, I'm pretty much going to be done with this fabric. Um, I'll keep a certain, I'll keep some prints. But some of the prints I'm not, I'm discontinuing and I'm not using anymore. Mostly all the Disney prints I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, here's my cutting table that I use to cut all my fabric. Um, I need to organize all this still. I have all these, um, I guess not boxes, but these cardboard, cardboard, um, bolts things that I'm going to wrap all my flannel fabric around. I did that with this fabric right here so I need to do that with the rest of this and all that fabric I need to do and then this whole closet I need to basically just gut I have a bunch of stuff in here that I don't even use or touch so I need to reorganize it all because I could use that as storage for some more fabric because I have some other stuff that I bought that I'll be adding to my Etsy shop and to my website so I need to make room for for that stuff so I'm gonna end up getting another shelf probably for this wall and then I'll clear all this out so that could be more storage um, and then I need to get rid of all these priority mailboxes maybe maybe I'll move those over here maybe um, and then I'm thinking maybe I'll put another like shelf or something over here. I don't know. Um, this room is really small. I live in California, so the homes in California are not very big for the price you pay for them. So I have a lot of reorganize, reorganizing that I have to do. Um, but yeah, but my husband made me these and my little sewing machine sign actually fell. So I need my husband to rehang that for me. But it's coming together, guys. Hopefully the next time I show you, it'll, it'll be a lot, lot better.
my shirts. Um, now I'm just cutting out that stencil vinyl before Cricut Design Space goes on like their little <sighs> repair thing that they're going to be doing online. Um, so I just wanted to get this done before 11 o'clock and it's currently 10.50. At 11 o'clock they're shutting down everything and doing updates or whatnot. Um, the kids are asleep, so now basically all I have to do now is package up these t-shirt orders, uh, weed out the stencil vinyl, and then my husband's going to go ahead and finish the sign. And basically that's it for tonight, so let's go ahead and let's start packaging up these orders. So this is the stencil that I had my Cricut just cut out and I just put some transfer tape on it and when I apply it to the sign I will take off this white part so it will stick to the wooden sign and, and we have our wood sign drying over here next to the oven because it's like super cold and it takes forever for the paint to dry. So we just have it drying right now and once it's dry I'll put the stencil on and then my husband he'll do like he'll spray paint over the stencil and then once that spray paint is dry I'll peel off the um, the stencil so that is it okay guys so that is it for tonight I still need to print out the shipping labels for these I'll do that off camera though since I don't want to show you guys all their info um, and then once that sign is dry I'll be able to apply that stencil and my husband will spray paint it and add the frame to it and then that's it basically. Um, I'm all caught up on orders. We don't have any orders on our sawdust or our glitter Etsy and then I don't have any more orders on my need and thread Etsy. Um, I think I have one eBay order that I have to package up. But that is it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do go live, I do live stream about twice a week and then I'm trying to upload two videos a week maybe three if I really push myself but I don't want to overdo it but definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel I am trying to reach 5,000 subscribers currently I'm almost I'm almost to 2,500 so I'm almost I'm almost halfway there also make sure you sign up for my discord I post a lot on there and if you ever need to get in contact with me contact me through discord is the best place to contact me um, and then also don't forget to sign up for my email list because I am giving away one free embroidery design every month So if you want some free designs make sure to sign up for that email list and I think that's it for tonight I think that's it. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye Ooh.